We're doing UK Auto Drive on-road trials. So that means that we're testing our autonomous vehicles on the road here in Coventry City Centre. The car is navigating around the urban environment, reacting to pedestrians and other traffic. This urban environment will always be the ultimate test for this kind of vehicle. Until now, we've always had a controllable environment and the urban environment is far more unpredictable. There are a lot more dynamic elements uh, for the car to sense and react to. Um, but we've been using all of this data to refine our systems and make sure that they do deal with them in the correct way. We found a massive challenge in predicting the way that pedestrians and other vehicles are going to react. It's really important to collaborate with other automotive manufacturers so that we can all develop together. We can make sure that Jaguar Land Rover have a presence uh, on the road while we're doing this public testing. In future, I think one of the challenges will be the psychology behind autonomous driving, so getting the driver to trust the car enough to hand over control to the car as opposed to driving themselves. So my role within this is the safety driver of the vehicle. Uh, I have to be there to be, so we can take control of the vehicle as and when we need to. So the car is driving itself but obviously for safety measures to make sure that uh, in case anything happens I can regain control of the car at any point in time. So we need to get to manual mode put the car into manual mode. The data we're collecting from the vehicle is essential for our uh, future development. Basically with the data we gather we can see how the car is reacting to the various scenarios around but also as we do develop things going forward we can see how the vehicle has progressed with its development. Some people look at the driver's eyes and get communication with the driver to say I'm by the way I'm walking out or can I walk out now? So the car that we are having here today is a production car where we have installed some of our prototype equipments in order to enable the connectivity to the external world and this will help a lot the driver to drive in a safer mode. When you drive along and you have this uh, connectivity enabled, you will get a lot of information where the other drivers will not get. For example, if there are some roadworks ahead. Another feature very important is the green light optimal speed advisory where the car talks with the traffic light. This will help the car to know the optimal speed that should drive in order to pass the green light. All of this connectivity improves the driver experience because you will be able to receive all the right information in the right time so you will be able to react faster. What we are doing is quite exciting because we've seen a lot of people getting interested. We realize that what we are doing is really cutting edge.